Hi everyone, my name is Barbara. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to display the latest refresh date and time of a file. This is really useful if you've got users asking you when was the last time the file was refreshed or emailing you, messaging you, when the, is the data up to date. I'm going to show you how to drop in a little box here, a little table, and it'll say exactly when the data has been refreshed. And once it is refreshed, this date and time will update. OK, so I've reset my workbook here and I'll take you through step by step on how to insert that little information box with the date and time of the last refresh. So um, I'm currently in my master sales file and it is a combination of regions one, two and three. These get updated every day and then the master file is refreshed by a colleague. I'm currently in the master sales and I've already got a power query here that combines all of the three regional sales. I then summarize that with a pivot table, really simple and straightforward piece of Excel. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to get into power query to write the new query that will give me the date and time. So there's a few ways to do that. We can right click and go into edit or you can get data and what I want to do is write a blank query. So this is the Power Query interface here and it's a really simple bit of Power Query code and it is equals daytime dot local now. And you can see that runs straight away and it's given me the date and time. I'm just going to rename this to last refresh. And I'm actually going to convert that to a table. I'm then going to rename this to last refresh. And that is the title of the table. So it looks like we're all set up. So this is sitting in the background now of Power Query. It gives me the date and time the last time that the files were refreshed. The next thing I need to do is just hit close and load to. Now I want to load this to a table and I actually want to put this on an existing worksheet. And let's pop this just here. So we have the date and time of the last refresh. What we need to do is just change that formatting and let's change that to date and time. So if I just go into date, custom, and let's go to date and time and hit OK. So you can see that this looks like just what I had in the example. Date of last refresh. To make this a bit neater, I can actually, so it looks more like a text box as opposed to a table. I can just go in and remove the filter. And there we have a nice little box. So if I want to go and refresh the data, go to the data and refresh all. Refreshing all will refresh all of the queries in Power, in Power Query and in the workbook. Let's hit that. You can see here they're refreshed and it's updated the date and time. And that's it. That's how to insert the date and time of the last refresh of your workbook. You can see this would be really useful if you had a dashboard. It takes up very little room and it really will cut down on the query. When was the data library last refreshed? If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help the channel. Leave a comment and ask a question if you want to in the comments below. And I'll see you next time for another video.